for tools it'd be to help great to them have navigate. That. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when the bus is coming. Okay, we're 45 balmy <laughs> degrees outside. Oh, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting warm. You say don't get used to that. <laughs> That's though. right. Time to bust out <laughs> the flip flops, right? No. no, this is going to be like the warmest day of the entire work weekend. When the cold moves in, it is moving in through the weekend is going to be here to stay. And then, of course, we're watching for any kind of moisture to move in and interact. And we're just coming off of that last system that moved in last Thursday, Friday, with another one on the way. And I'll show you the latest on that in a second. But for now, 45 degrees. We may run into a few showers this evening, uh, mainly, of course, in the form of rain for the valley. And then we'll see a little bit more mountain snow. Over the last five days, take a look at the highs. So uh, yesterday, 47, 44 Saturday. The official high hasn't come out today, but probably right around 47. And then 33 on Friday, 34 on Thursday. Well, more of that type of weather moving on in. We start to see a little drop tomorrow and then Wednesday through Saturday at least. Temperatures hovering close to the freezing mark for highs as another Arctic air mass tries to push into our area. A Doppler radar out, out there right now showing things are pretty quiet in the metro area. A stray little shower popping up south of Wilsonville and then the coast range seeing a few little showers and then back to the Cascades. Snow kind of winding down at this point there. And that's going to be the trend for the night. A fairly dry night tonight and a dry day tomorrow as we get this weak little high pressure moving in to, to give us a little dry time before the next system arrives. Temperatures in the low to mid-40s for the valley. Overnight lows tonight will be down below freezing for the metro in the valley. So we'll fall into the 30s as we have through the evening hours, and we'll have that chance for a little bit of, of rain here and there. And then by the time we get to the freezing mark, the rain's moved out. We'll have to watch out for some freezing fog that could develop for tomorrow morning, which means that some of the roads could be a little icy when you wake up thanks to that fog. So you'll want to watch out for that. But again, that's just a very thin layer, something to check into tomorrow morning. For the middle part of the week, all eyes on this storm system that's going to be moving in and interacting with the next cold blast of air. And this cold blast of air is imminent, and we're going to see snow moving in too. And at this point, uh, there is high confidence that we're going to see quite a bit of snow for at least the eastern slopes of the Cascades into Central and Eastern Oregon as that low does this kind of track from the southwest to the north and east. So winter storm watches have already been issued for this area. They go into effect tomorrow evening, so we'll start to see snow likely moving into southern parts of the state uh, overnight Tuesday night. And as we get into early Wednesday, it starts to move farther up to the north. So so far, the valley and the metro area not under a winter storm watch. There's still some uncertainty with the track. And as far as any snow and snow totals moving into our metro area, that could change and will likely change as we head through uh, the next day. So we'll continue to update you on that. Here's how it's looking right now. We go through the day tomorrow. We'll try to even get a little sunshine going tomorrow afternoon. Colder air is moving in. It's continuing to move in through the night tomorrow night. Next system arrives from the south. It brings in that snow farther south with a rain snow mix for southern valleys. And then we get into midway through the day Wednesday and we start to see that potential for snow perhaps for the Portland metro area as the system tries to track to the north. Here's the thing. There's the system may have a tough time tracking really far to the north because of the strong high pressure moving in to bring us the cold air. So how far north this system goes and how far north that moisture goes is still in question. And so that has a huge impact on what our snow totals would be here in the metro area. But the air, it looks like it would definitely be cold enough to support snow throughout parts of the day Wednesday into Wednesday night. So Wednesday storm, Cold blast is imminent. It's going to persist. It's going to stick around into the weekend uh, with temperatures cold enough to bring in that potential for snow. Uh, developing snow will be happening during the day. The track of the low is still uncertain at this point. We may have a better idea ac actually as of tonight at 11 p.m. I'll have another update for you. At this point, miles are all over the place. So ice storm potential, how about that? We just got rid of one. Uh, this looks fairly low. It looks like it would be a mainly snow event. Again, that could change, but that's how it's looking right now. Your forecast for Tuesday, temperatures in the low 40s, one more dry day, 20s out east, and then watching for snow Wednesday night into Thursday, and then getting ready for cold weather that's going to stick around into the weekend and maybe even some snow showers this weekend too with highs in the low to mid 30s. You can download the PDX weather app to keep up with all the weather changes and the alerts as we get through another active week so, as it looks so right, right now. So right now we have a snow threat possibly. Yes, a snow threat. You need to be making preparations for that to happen, but again, it's a threat and the forecast is going to change. Okay. So, lot to All keep right. an eye on. Right. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, Kristen. Still